Hey guys, Chad at Spire Racing Heads. I wanted to give you an update video on the Spacer. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to call it a true drop in Spacer. We're going to have to do, or you're going to have to do, a little bit of uh, <clears throat> modifying to a stock carburetor flange on a car on a manifold. Most of the stuff that I do, and the reason why I did it this way is because all, I open up all of the plenum and all the flange, so it's going to drop right in. But I got thinking about it last night that a lot of guys aren't going to have that. So I'm, I need to show you what needs to happen. So so basically, if you have a stock, this is, this is what needs to happen. So I made a template, um, and I've showed pictures of it. So basically, so basically you can... Um, I just take it like that and just draw it out. So what I could do is if you're interested in buying one, I can, what I could do is set this on a piece of cardboard and draw it. And then you guys could cut it out, set it on top of your flange, you know, scribe around it and then just see how I laid it back. Sort of like how I did it in that spacer because it's got to be bigger here for the, for the reversion groove. So, I just need to make that clear that you're going to have to do a little bit of work unless, you know, most manifolds, you know, if anybody's ever done a manifold or ported a manifold, they're going to get opened up. So most, they should fit right in. But let me show you this a little bit here. So here, here is a, uh, let's start with this here. So, th so this is how they come. You know, I have two different sizes. Uh, the one 640 for the smaller carburetors, like a 580. Uh, 780 and then a regular set 1750 for 4150. Um, had it machined with a screw hole. These are the bullets, um, or the cones. So there's two different lengths. One's a little longer. Uh, you could try either one of them. Um, so basically it just, it just, uh, fits right in there. And then, uh, put the screw down through it. Put a little bit of blue Loctite on it, you're good to go. Uh, so here's what one kind of looks like assembled. Um, so so the reason being, so what I could do, and I and I, and I, may, I might do this, is I could kick these in. We could kick these in to where it would fit in a stock opening, but that makes these pretty thin. And one of the things I was thinking on this is is uh, on my personal deal, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a seven degree taper in here, and I'm gonna do it by hand. Um, and on anything that I do for myself or my customers, probably on a manifold is I'm going to burr this in here because you guys know I'm a big burr guy, but you can see, you can see the reversion the, the, all the way, all the way around it. Um, so yeah, I mean, then that once you get that, once you get that fitted like that, you know, it, it just, it'll just drop right in. And then you can, uh, I don't know if I have a couple of screws here. I did. Let me put a screw in here and we'll turn it over. I don't know if you guys can see anything. I just recommend silicone from the plate to the flange. Um, one of the purposes is you're trying to eliminate height anyway. You know, gain all you can. So silicone will seal it up just fine. I don't know if you can get in there. and You can kind of see, if you look real up, you can see how that reversion, how that have that groove all the way around there with that um, tapered like that and the plenum is going to do what it needs to do. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it's not a, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to measure it all out and see if we can't kick those in a little bit. The problem is it's going to make those bores really thin, um, which probably isn't bad. It's just, they're dedicated to what they are. Um, with this material like this, we can do a lot of playing. So, um, just wanted to take time to show you. Um, it, it's it's not for everyone. They're like two hundred fifteen dollars. Uh, will they work on everything? Have no idea. Will they help? Have no idea. Um, the reason why they're made is because on the super stock stuff with a flat hood, literally a quarter inch. So we might as well try something. I think a four hole. I think a four hole is something good. Um, and I definitely think the cone is something good. And, you know, a lot of these manifolds have nice deep plenums. So that's why the difference in the height of the bullet or the cone. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be one of those things where you put it on and you go, 
uh, wow, it was worth 20 foot pounds of torque. No, it's going to be one of those things like I can't get nothing else on it and I want something or I need something. And not only that, but you need something just to make the carburetor happy as far as the linkage and all that, you know, so it, 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 uh, it has its purpose. I mean, I, I, I won't say that, uh, buy one cause they're worth 30 horsepower. Eh? That, that's not the purpose of this purpose of this is, is I feel that you've got to put something on it. And by putting the uh, bores down in, in the plenum, I mean, it makes it think it's got a half inch spacer on it. Okay. Which if we've all dynoed it, we know that at least a minimum half inch spacer helps. So, uh, we, you could put an, put this on it, which is a totally open, you know, but I, I believe there's something in the four hole. So, um, Thanks for looking. If you guys have any questions, give me a holler. Um, like I said, I'll, I have them around. Uh, they're $215. Um, probably compared to some of the other stuff, it's not as cheap. But, I mean, you got to start with a piece of billet. And the cones are, they take a little time. Everything takes time. So, here's a close-up of a, of a cone. I mean, he did a really nice job. So, all right. You guys have a good day. Thanks for looking. Take care. Bye.